I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. It's not right. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm Steve Whaley, and I'm going to show you something today. Maybe that should be mine. I'm Steve Whaley. I'm going to show you something today. Check this out. So, talking about Tiny Whoops, I just reflashed, or not reflashed, but flashed a new firmware. And uh, I thought I put all my stuff back to how I used to have it. But when I went to go arm my Tiny Whoop, it wouldn't arm. And it reminded me of a problem that I had for the longest time when I first got mine. And I've seen many people have. It's a very simple fix, but there be there's no way that you could figure it out on your own without any prior knowledge, or without someone showing you or telling you. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you're having problems getting your B brain to arm, especially if you're team failsafe, then this could be your fix. So check us out. If you go into your receiver tab, and again, this is right after I flash a new firmware, you can see that I have all my sticks centered my throttle is is all the way down to minimum and you can see that at minimum throttle I'm reading uh, about 1174 and then all my minimums for everything else for my yaw my pitch and my roll are up to 1514 somewhere in there so the problem with that is your minimum values are supposed to be 1000 your middle values are supposed to be 1500 and your maximum values are supposed to be 2000 so this is a problem so if I bring all my sticks down to the left, I can see all my minimum values at once. And I can see that all my minimums are right around 1174. Okay, so I'm gonna remember that number, 1174. Now if I put my sticks up and to the right all the way, I can look at all my maximum values and I can see that my maximum values are reading 1854. Okay, so I have 1174 and 1854. Now, now, do that for yours and remember what your two numbers are. Write them down. I mean, I'm sure if, if you're team failsafe, these numbers probably will work for you. I think the actual, uh, I think the, the standard command that's given in the beta flight uh, in the B-Brain manual is uh, somewhere around, I don't know, 1160 or something like that. Anyway, it's a, it's a general number, you know, number that'll basically work with any spectrum receiver because uh, stock inductrix boards work off of uh, spectrum technology. So that's why it'll work. But if you want it to be super accurate, super precise, if you want to be uh, you know, super surgical about it like I like to be with, with all my quads and stuff like that, then go in here and do your own values. So minimum value for me, 1174, insert yours there. Maximum value, 1854. So I'm going to come over to the CLI tab. If you want, you can go ahead and type in just RX range, all one word, RX range. You hit enter, it'll bring up RX range for 0, 1, 2, and 3. These actually, I just figured this out, actually correlate to, uh, they're basically in order on your receiver tab. So your roll is 0, pitch is 1, yaw is 2, throttle is 3. What I'm going to do now is I remember those two numbers, 1174. 1854. I'm going to reset all of these receiver ranges manually. So I'm going to type in RX range space zero space. I'm going to type in my minimum value I was reading 1174 space and then my maximum value I was reading 1854 and hit enter. I'm going to do this for each one of my ranges or each one of my, my channels. RX range space one 1174 space 1854 enter rx range 2 1174 1854 and the last one range 3 you guessed it 1174 to 1854 enter so now I'm, before you leave here make sure you type in save enter it's going to save and reboot so basically what I what I just did was I told my receiver on my tiny loop, whenever you see, so this was, was outputting 1174 at minimum, I'm telling this, whenever you see 
1174 come from here, you're going to read it as 1000. And whenever you see 1854, the maximum value, you're going to read it as 2000. That's basically all that's happening. You're just resetting the ranges and all that. So now let's check our work. Let's go in here uh, back to my receiver tab. And I can see that uh, there's really, there's a little jitter, not much. Uh, and I think that's standard for these, for these boards. Because um, on my quads, it doesn't, doesn't jitter that much really at all. Uh, but I can see that my minimum values are at 1500. All my minimums are at 1000. And all my maximums are at 2000. You can go ahead and disconnect that tiny whoop, plug this bad boy in, and I know it's going to work. So go ahead and throw on your goggles, get ready to fly because once you hit that arm switch, yep. It's going to be fine. You're going to be whooping. So, hey, I hope that helped. If it did, there's a little button down on one of these over somewhere down here. It looks like this. There's one that looks like this. Don't do that one. Do this one. Hit that one. Okay. And then there's another one I'm going to show you somewhere on one of these sides. I'm going to show you a subscribe and I'm going to show you a video. Hit one of those. Subscribe to the channel. I'll give you some more good stuff, some more tiny whoop stuff coming, and uh, hopefully we'll get you get you out there whooping and get you on your way. You're destined for greatness. So thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps. New trying out. Yeah, happy, happy flying. <laughs>